and welcome back to another exciting episode of Two Epic EVs. Today is accessory day, and what do we got? I think we got something there from EV Base. Question is, is it gonna be for the Rivian or the Tesla? Here's a hint. Yep, we're gonna do a little upgrade on the uh, Tesla. Stay tuned. And we're back. Okay, so we got a vehicle sunroof sunshade from EV Base that we're gonna put on the Tesla. Um, packaging came really well. Shipping was fast. Uh, came via FedEx and uh, the box is in great shape so far. We're gonna open it up with you and do the full install and give me, uh, I'll give you my thoughts on it. This right here is little Miss Abby. Okay, you wanna go in your bed so we can film? Okay. Okay, um, we're here. Obviously, see I'm one-legged. Fun, huh? Had a little bit of a surgery, but we'll be fine to still install this. It's gonna be that easy. So, um, we got my wife today running the camera, Preston's uh, MIA. So, come on right over here. So, let me show you what we got here. I just opened this up. You saw me unravel it. It says back right there, which is kind of nice. So, let's, let's see if we can... Uh, see what all that we have here and I'm doing this one-handed one-legged bear with me that's all right we'll figure it out this right here looks like it's gonna be the outer part what do we got over here they give you a nice bag here oh they give you some nice white gloves which is really good so gloves we got four five screws in there looks like a couple of little tiny screws and they give you a screwdriver That'll be great. We'll uh, we'll be using that. So the packaging on this was really good. And let me tell you why I chose this EV base and they sent it to me. Um, I, as some of you know, I have a lease on the car. The way this installs, I don't have to modify anything on my car. And if I choose to uh, turn it in and get another new Model Y, if they don't do a big refresher talking about on the sunroof at least, um, I could probably transfer it to my next one, no problem. So let's go ahead and uh, undo all this. Go over there. Go over here. And this looks like, yeah, this comes out here. And yeah, this is the track for the sun, the shades. And so you're gonna be installing this in the car and we'll show you that. Okay, so now that I got this somewhat out, I wanna show you um, what I believe we're gonna be doing is putting this in the car. You go like this in between the headliner and the glass. And we will show you that of how to install it. It's already put together and then you would make this straight. And I believe this is where some of the clips go to hold it together. So this is will be installed in the car. Looks like they got a cool little system here really like that. We're gonna start putting this together with the screws provided. I think they give extra screws, but if you can look right here, this is kind of what you wanna use. And then come on over here. Looks like there's little tabs here, because right now it can bend this way. So you wanna move these little tabs and line up the hole right there. And so then you wanna take your little screw with the uh, screws provided and the screwdriver they provided. Try not to drop this. And, oh, it's magnetic. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can do this. One-legged and one-handed. <laughs> well, two hands. Let's see here. So then I'm just gonna screw this in, just like that. They did give four screws. However, one of them's already in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten it tighten it up here they're so small so I'm just gonna tighten everything down because it's loose so you can do that and go from there so I'm gonna do this side now I'm gonna do the other side and uh, get it all set up okay so now 
we're gonna use these longer screws that it came with. They also gave us extras of these. They also gave some nuts just in case, but um, I'll show you later part of the film where the nuts are already installed in this, so it's kind of nice. So here's this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this, these move, and you're gonna be able to line this up. You see that's lined up down in there. You can see the hole going through. Okay, so then I'm just gonna pop this down through here and take the screwdriver and screw it in. All right, that's snug. There we go. Now I'm gonna do, I'm debating whether I should try to do all four, then try to slide it in the car or just do two slide in the car and then put up there and do the other two. So I'm not really quite sure yet, but um, maybe I'll just do two so we'll play it safe. Then we'll put the other two screws in while we're in the car. So, okay, I'm gonna do this one right over here and then uh, we'll get two of them done. Okay, and we're all set there. I have decided I'm just gonna do one side of this and then I'm gonna put leave that side so I have like the flap so I can put it up behind the uh, headliner of the Model Y. And um, then I'm gonna put the screws through and I think we'll be set. So I think I'm gonna do it that way. So now we'll see you next time in the car. So real quick, before we um, go out to the car, I wanna show you this kit they give us. They give us a lot of extra stuff. I talked about these nuts. You'll see these nuts in there. However, they're already embedded in here and I think they give them to you in addition, so if one falls out or anything like that, so it's really nice to give you extra extra product. They also, there's some um, rubber pieces right here. They give you extra pieces too, so I'm pretty happy with all that uh, that you get extra. I wonder if I should put something maybe right there. I don't know, but I don't think it's gonna be neat. I think it's just for those. So really need all the extra hardware they get just in case. So, all right, we'll see you out the car. Okay, so, we just showed you inside where we were putting all together. Now we're outside at the Model Y. Now I gotta tell you, this is from EV Base, and I'm gonna be putting a discount link in the description down below, and it's gonna be two epic EVs. So you might as well get 15% off this product if you're interested, because so far I think it's pretty cool. Now we're gonna get ready for the installation. Here we are, so I'm getting ready to do the install. The ones where I put it forward, I'm gonna put forward, I'm gonna hook into the front up there. Um, I would recommend probably having two people with this and uh, I do have my wife here to help me. Um, and so, yeah, I'll kind of show you what we're gonna do here. Let's see here. So as you can see, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna be sliding it up into there should be pretty simplistic. I'm not sure if I gotta put the seats forward or not, but I'm actually gonna leave them where they're at to possibly help me. So um, we're gonna see how that goes. I'm just gonna try to lift it over. A little bit of Velcro. You wanna do Velcro side down. And I'm just gonna kind of be careful. I don't really wanna hit the glass too much with these metal prongs. I don't know how that would be. Oh, this is easy. This is good. I'm going to go pop right in here. Just going to squeeze this right in here. Ooh, this thing must be built really tight. That side would in great. This side's a little tight. And I uh, can't get it. I'm just trying to slide it right in here. And I don't know if it's because the back is down is my issue that I'm having. I cannot get it. The, the gap, there's like zero gap in the headliner opposed to the, the glass. I'm just, uh, that's interesting. Okay, attempt number two is we um, put the stationary ones in the back instead of the front. As you saw, we just had some trouble hooking this in the front and so, um, we're gonna try to hook the back now. So we have the ones with the screws in going into the back. Okay, I'm gonna drop it. Okay, she's got one. And I'm gonna go ahead and just keep holding so she can get the back part in. I'm gonna drop it. Got it in, okay. So now 
we're gonna try to maneuver this in somehow. So let's try to, I'm not gonna try to get my fingers up in here. Can it go back at all or no? No. no? Okay, so let me just try to, I kind of freed up some room. Okay, got this one. Let's see if I can get that. I need to try to get this all the way here. So we could put a screw through. All right, so let's, okay, so I could probably put a screw through right there, but I kind of want to try to get this one before I do that. Let's see if I can get it here. Shoot. Come on, baby. Kind of fighting it. I'm not sure how I can get that. Okay, so you can see I got it in there and what I had to use is I had to use this pick and I peel, peeled this down and then wedged that in. This corner of my Tesla is extremely tight. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put the screw in through there, but however, it is on here really good. We got all other four corners. Sorry, it's a little close here. All of the other four corners here doing that. Now I'm gonna give the photo over to my wife and I'm gonna try to try to pop this in, try to squeeze this over. Yep, there we go, starting to get it here. And uh, it's really in there. I don't have the screw, but it's really in there. I think what I wanna do is I wanna start lining this up. This right here, this marks, this is actually not from this product. It's actually, I didn't realize it, but the first six months I had this car, look, so that's right, this, actually nothing has scratched this on the headliner from this, uh, this unit. But I think I'm going to keep it like, where am I, sorry, keep it like that. I know we gotta put a screw in through here to hold it. However, we are not budging at all. I don't think I can pull this all the way front like it should, but I have screws in every other corner. I think we're good. I might try to wedge it a little bit more just to make sure but um, I think I don't want to pull it any farther and try to get that screw in because it, it is very tight. I guess that gives credit to Tesla um, for building the good product. Okay, I am wedging it in. I'm getting closer and closer. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of rocking this back and forth. Look, I just got it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, since we're lining this up, I am going to go ahead and put the screw in. I was kind of overthinking that, thinking that uh, I wouldn't be able to, but all I did is started rocking it back and forth and I got it. Um, I do want to mention one of the main reasons why I got this uh, headliner from EV Base is because I have a lease on this car. And I really did not want to um, take off any panels or alter the car in any way. So, and this is a perfect solution for that. There we go. Sorry, I had to move it a little bit so you can get it tight. And we're tight. So we are in there. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look from the back and see if we need to line this up any better. Okay, so we are pretty lined up. As I showed you, we're going to go ahead and try to close this, see how it looks. Can you grab that? I'm going to grab it too. Yeah, so it closes it nice up nicely and goes from there. So I like it. It's in there really sturdy really tight and i told you about the clearances of the headliner now we're going to wrap the um the cover piece around this and see the final okay now we're back we're getting ready to put the headliner on i want to show you right here it says front that's really nice and you know what's funny is when i had this in the house under my um light from the inside of the house and stuff like that i i thought it looked brown i i thought it was the wrong color when i start holding this up as you can see the color matching in here is absolutely amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to um, hit the Velcro spots, line up all the Velcro, and just try to pop this up here really. Oh, that's easy. This is easy to do. Hey, hon, can you put your hand over here and see if you can pop over there? Oh, that looks nice. That looks really nice. So let's go ahead and just walk it back here. We got a little gap right here. Let's go ahead and fix. Just kind of put your hand up there so it catches the Velcro. Very good. Okay, let's pop in the back. So 
anyway, so you could close it and open it right back up. No problem. I like that. And thank you for uh, watching me do this with my wife helping me. I was one legged, had a little hiccup up there. So I'm hoping, hopefully that I, um, you know, explain how I got it. But very impressed. The color matching is way better than I thought it was going to be. Okay, to wrap this up, you just saw us do the full installation. And um, I got to say, the color match is way better than I thought it would be. At first, I was a little worried when I was on the inside. So that is really good. Um, as you saw, we had a little hiccup in this corner, but give kudos to Tesla because they're putting the tolerances between for the, the panel gaps between the, the headliner and the glass. One of these corners was super tight. I ended up using that little pick, as I showed you, pulled back a little bit, slid in, the little thing then I finally got it um, it seemed to be most effective if we did the back first that were stationary and then went to the front and then pop those in so anyway I really like this product um, open and closed now we're getting at the end of the season I'm looking forward to next summer when it's super hot to see how much it helps but uh yeah I'm gonna like it and let me not forget absolutely most important Get a discount on this product, and I'll put a link all down below. Put a discount code of two Epic EVs at EV Base. Awesome people out there. As you saw, shipping was awesome. Uh, packaging was awesome. Really easy to put together. So anyway, discount code two Epic EVs. Peace out.